Hello and welcome to tutorial by Maker of Beauty where I will be teaching you how to add glyphs to your text in design space. Um, the prerequisite for this is that you have already downloaded I Love Glitter free font that you can find on that font. If you need to learn how to download the font to your system, um, I have a tutorial out for that already. So for the purpose of this one, we're assuming you already have it installed and you already opened it up in a quick eye. So without waiting, let's jump in. We're going to go to text and we're going to type in our word and uh, let's work with the word welcome. So I'm going to bring this up and just adjust the size a little bit, make it bigger. And I'm going to go to my fonts. I'm going to set it to system and I'm going to look for a good uh, cursive uh, font, right? So I like the uh, against. So I'm putting that in. Let me increase the size a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so we know that we'll need to work on this font, right? Because right now there is too much of a space between each letters and not touching each other. And uh, there's too much of the space between W and the rest of the letters. But the first thing is, uh, let's add our glyphs. So what we need to do is following. We're going to ungroup this first. Then we're going to just group this three letters. Oh, sorry, just this. No, it looks like it grouped the whole thing. All right, let's try to ungroup it one more time. Okay, this is much, much better. And we are going to move W separately from the rest of the um, group. This one still, still continues to be um, a group by itself. So we're going to go back to text and we're going to bring in um, a new character. And this character, it's a uh, parenthesis. It's one that's located right next to letter P. So we're just going to put one of them in. We're going to go back to our font. And this time we're going to select I love glitter. So there's my I love glitter. Uh, why is it not pulling in? Let me search under my system fonts. And that's much better. Okay, so here's my I love glitter. And there is my glyph. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my W here. And um, if you need to increase the size, you know, to make everything align, um, to help you with alignment, definitely do that. So I'm going to actually follow my own advice and increase the size of my canvas to at least 75. And uh, here you have a couple of choices, right? You can see that the glyph is a little bit thinner than the rest of the size of your letter. The reason to that is because I have my W set to bold, which increases it by um, expanding its border. So one option is to put it back to uh, regular and see if that's gonna do anything. And it did, but now you can see that your glyph is bigger than your W. So and uh, what you can do is you can duplicate the letter itself. So I'm going to do copy and uh, uh, V because design space reads the, uh, the, uh, the regular shortcuts. And I'm going to align this to and uh, um, I could do the weld, right, to increase the thickness of the letter. Another option would be, let me just get rid of this, is to go back to W and set it back to bold. And instead of duplicating my letter, I'm going to duplicate my glyph. And I'm just going to increase it in the size a tad. So I'm going to align it just so. And it's starting to look like it's gotten pretty good size. And now I'm going to weld it. And now it's looking a lot closer to the size of my W. And so I'm just going to align it um, next to my W letter. And, you know, if you need to increase the font, I mean, if you need to incre increase your canvas, you know, a little bit more, 
just to get that good alignment you know definitely do that so this is much better looking than it was before and you know if you want to expand basically you need to fine tune it until you have that smooth um, seamless look and uh, I think I'm starting to get there maybe bring it down just just so a tiny bit okay I'm still not I am quite a perfectionist so <laughs> any case now this is starting to look much much seamless before I uh, highlight everything and weld it and make it the one whole character what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my fattened glyph and uh, I'm just gonna oops let me undo what I just did because I don't want to change the position I'm gonna copy this and by the way I use the uh, shortcuts on my keyboard but you don't have to you could have just highlighted this and put in a duplicate and it would have done the same thing for you but uh, first thing first let's convert this into a single uh, letter and now our glyph is part of the W and here you have a couple of choices you can attach it this way or you can try to flip it and let's flip it horizontal and see if you like more of this look right whichever way it works the best for you and uh, looks the most pleasing to your eye that's the one that you want to go with so i i like this one you know where the w has a bit of a sharp edge um, on this side and so i'm going to highlight everything again and weld it so this becomes a big part uh, and, um, that becomes one single character i'm going to reduce the size of my canvas i no longer well let me bring this up so you can see the difference between the two right and uh, just to let you know you know if you wanted to make your glyph longer then before you weld it and uh, even before you you know duplicate it and weld it to give it this thickness you could have changed the size and make it longer i mean at this point if you were to change the size and make it longer you would be manipulating the entire letter so if you need it right let me uh, just bring another glyph to show then uh, you could have worked and make it bigger and thicker uh, you know before so if you wanted something we need to flip this one if you wanted something much longer right then adjust the size of your glyph first and weld second all right so now that we have our W, I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't need it. Um, let me highlight this whole thing and group it. You know, then you would continue to work the rest of your letter however you want to see it fit. Um, with the script, you know, I don't think it's seemingly to have all the space in between. You would definitely arrange it where your letters would be touching each other. And, uh, you know, because this video concentrates on showing you how to do the glyph, I didn't really work the text the way that I would normally do. And um, so working the individual, individual um, each letter is more of a long pass. It's definitely the pass that is available to you, but there are more, um, I would say, like streamlined ways to do it. But in any case, now that that's is touching all the letters are touching each other I'm going to highlight just this five letters what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the W out of the way completely and I'm going to align this and I'm gonna align it on the bottom to make sure that all of my letters have a straight I'm going to weld it And now we'll, you know, decide how I want to do it on my welcome. So this looks pretty good to me. I'm going to see what happens if I was to align all of this on the bottom, right? Because right now my 
Ilkum is not aligned to the bottom of W, you know, with the bottom would be at the very end where I'm holding it. It's more of a line to the second part of it. So I'm just going to take a look and see what it looks like if I align it on the bottom and it doesn't look the best. So I'm going to undo it. This is much better alignment. And what I do to help myself to get as much of a alignment as I can, because right now I can use the alignment option, right? Since it's looking at the very bottom here instead of here. What I do is I bring it up to where it's touching the actual line. So then I can bring this one touching the line as well. And that's going to be much better alignment if I was to try to do it when it's not touching the line, which is not as precise. So, oh, and by the way, you know what, guys? I just realized that I'm missing a letter E at the very word welcome, but I'm not going to worry about it because the purpose of this is to teach you how to uh, work the glyphs. Um, and so here they are. And, uh, you know, if you want to cut it as a single word, you would do attach. If you want, I mean, I'm sorry, you would do the uh, weld. Um, and if you wanted to cut them separately, then you would just do the attach or, you know, keep them as separate and align it together on your surface. Um, I hope this is helpful. If any questions, just post them away. Take care.